Christian, what a way to start the 2018-19 season. 4-1 win away at Grimsby, somewhere which has been really tough to come to in previous seasons. Yeah, like you said, this place is a really hard place to come and, and pick up the three points. And obviously we went 1-0 behind. Um, but at half time, um, I, we just had this belief in the dressing room that we was going to pull through. Obviously, we probably played the better football in the game, and um, this year we, we seemed to, to play play better in the attacking third. And um, I think we got our got our um, result from that. And um, it was just a, it was good to come out second half and really put a good performance on because I feel like uh, we were we were pushing all first half to, to do that. How much of a setback was that penalty in the first half? Because large parts of it really dominated and you really seem to have just found your foot in the game. Yeah, obviously extremely disappointing, but I, f I feel like I had a belief that we were going to still go on to win the game. Um, it was completely different to last season. I feel like everyone was still had their heads up, everyone still believed and our performance showed that, I think, in the second half. And um, at the end of the day, a lot of the times this year we're going to be one hill behind and it's about us regrouping and going again. Does that belief come from a fresh start, I suppose, and a few new faces in there in the changing room? Yeah, I think um, some of the older heads in the team really um, really calmed us down and stuff. And obviously you need leaders all over the pitch and I feel like we got that now. And um, when we went one hill behind, I think we... We just a couple of uh, couple of words gone around the pitch and everyone was calm and then we went regrouped half time and then come out to, to win the game. Carl Winchester getting that crucial first goal in the second half. Um, how important was that? The timing of it. Yeah, p uh, perfect for us. Obviously, it's quite early in the second half, so it gives us time to, to go get another one. Um, the second goal in the game is always massive. Um, when you're one 0 behind and someone else scores, it's, it takes the takes the wind out of you a little bit. But uh, Winchester was brilliant today. His work ethic was was second to none and um, it's so good to play with when you've got someone running around with you so um, yeah, fair play to him and taking the lead in rather bizarre circumstances what was your take on it yeah well, i spoke to him about it and it's a disappointing one for him um, he did say that basically the same goalkeeper shirt was the same color as one of the seats at the back of the thing and do you know what when i was out there i, I could see where he was coming from but it's just a bit unfortunate we had a couple of them last season which was uh, disappointing but um, I f I'm sure we'll get another one of them where, where we just give them a goal but um, I think our uh, reaction to get another one was, was really good. Um, a lot of the time last year we'd get a goal and then sit back and try and keep the ball. We need to attack like we did today to, to finish teams. Does that show Lady Luck maybe on our side this season where maybe there were times last season it just wasn't? Yeah, only Lady Luck only gets from, get, you only get Lady Luck from hard work and um, you, you only get it from like playing really well and stuff like when you're playing bad you don't get no luck so I think that showed today that we, with our performance we were good and the luck you get the luck you are the more successful you'll be so um, we're very happy with that and we keep going now and next game more important. A brace from you both very different goals but you'll take them any way they come won't you? Yeah of course we've been uh, Scotty's been banging on about the uh, set plays and um, lucky to, to get a goal um, I've actually told Jamo before to stick a back stick and he's put it on the plate for me to be fair and um, very, very happy with that one and the second one's just a bit unfortunate for them again um, obviously it wasn't going for them second half was it and it fell for me and luckily um, put it away 25 goals in all competitions last season two already this season how nice is it to, to get off the mark straight away and not have to worry about that yeah obviously the first one and two is probably the most important um, it really kicks you on uh, really happy. Didn't really feel like anything was dropping for me today, especially first half. So I had a couple of shots out of frustration, you see, <laughs> which were ridiculous. But um, you know what? I've a lucky two drop for me today, but I think that's just down to, to working hard and, and keep grafting and um, hopefully letting the ball drop to you. And you're enjoying yourself at Forest Green at the moment. I think all fans are hoping you'll be here come Saturday next week. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I love the club. You can see from my performance today that um, I'm not thinking about anything else but for Forest Green Football Club. You know how professional I am and. I think that's shown by my performance today and my two goals.